All right, fellas, today we're talking about the gym and why you may not need to go to the gym. I know some guys are ready with the Twitter fingers already. Let's, let's get them unbunched. So you're trying to pull around that muscle, lose that fat, look sexy. But you got a problem. Uh, you're not making it to the gym. I mean, you're just skipping days. And maybe the gym is the actual problem? Stick with me now. Because the question is, is the gym actually working for you? I mean, there is a flaw in the matrix, Neo. Whoa. You heard it all your life, go to the gym. But what's going on, man? You're getting there, you know, you got all the shiny machines, half of them you're never gonna use. You have to wait for some of them, you have to drive there. And you're paying that money cha-ching every month. And you went there about four times. Mm. Today, we're gonna to take a step back and look at that entire process and see what you could actually do to really get in shape and why are we doing this anyway? And I'm gonna give you the number one sexual performance exercise. Every man has to do this. Yes, that, that, in, that includes you, man. You talking to me? That includes you, man. You talking to me? And we have a new challenge out. We have the challenge coming for you fellas. And uh, just stay tuned till the end. We're going to break it all the way down. You're going to like it. We got prizes. We got some more stuff. You're going to love it. And I have to get a shout out to Coach B, my Howard University brother. I met him and his lovely wife. Also a shout out to Russell and L Boogie. And fellas, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm going to do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, so I got a basic question for you, man. What are you training for? I mean, seriously, what are you training for? If you're trying to become a sexual performance athlete, we need three things to be covered. We're talking about increasing your testosterone, increasing your flexibility, and increasing your stamina. Why is that? Well, the bursting and burning of testosterone is what's needed to fuel an erection, and you, sir, should be sitting there about a good 800 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone. Hey, that's the number we're shooting for. You need that flexibility so you can get into and stay in those various positions. You know how you like to get all, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, you need some flexibility with that. More flexibility means a wider range of motions, a wider range of positions, and you're actually faster. And of course, you need that stamina. You need to be able to last as long as you want to. Of course, this is gonna help with the premature ejaculation, gives you more control so you can have that orgasm when you want to. And a fun thing, you have a shorter refractory period. You go ahead and bust that nut and you're ready to get back to it. <laughs> this is a fun thing. So let's get into the history of the gym right quick. When we're talking about the gym, we have to go back to the industrial revolution because before then people were always active and you know, you were going around trying to get food. Now you're in a factory, you're standing still, you're doing a little bit of movement and the food is just coming from somewhere else because you're getting the money from the factory, you're paying somebody else to give you the food. So now you're standing still, you got more food and people are getting out of shape. Obesity and diabetes was born. I can't stop eating. Then in 1975, there came Gold's Gym. Uh, a gym that was designed for guys who were trying to become professional bodybuilders. Not guys who were trying to pick up their daughter, you know, after soccer practice. It's two different things. Out of that came the rise of the big box gyms. The ones we go to now, Gold's Gym, LA Fitness. Is Bali still around? I think Bali, eh, they may have gone. See, the modern gym is designed for what most people don't actually want to do, become professional bodybuilders. You just want to stay in shape. You want to look sexy for the wife or the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave that alone. So let's talk about why it may suck for you because there is a flaw in the matrix and the flaw is the gym that was never designed for you. That's the flaw. To get to a bodybuilder's look, takes years and we're talking about five to six days a week of heavy lifting very concentrated you have to know exactly what you're doing we've all been there we've gone to the gym we've seen people in the gym who look the same for years it's like what's, what's the whole point point? and then on top of that the number of reasons to miss the gym is just insane I'm tired, it was late from work. They have all these extra machines in there I'm never gonna use. I mean, you have to drive there and then you get there and it's all crowded and busy. And of course you forgot your sweat towel, you forgot your left sock. And the number one thing, yeah, you're just paying money and not really using a full facility. This is the problem. How many times have you committed to going to the gym and just, you, you know, you're all excited. <laughs> Stuff didn't happen. 
That's what keeps happening. We're gonna talk about how to stop that right now. Because we have a natural alternative, I want to introduce you to the number one sexual performance exercise that men need to be doing. It's called a burpee. Yeah, I know, it's not the most fun thing in the world, but it's literally, you're going down and you're getting back up. That's all there is to it. And what kind of machinery, what kind of equipment do you need for a burpee? It's, it, that's the floor. That's the floor over there. It's, it's, a, it's, floor over, it's a floor over there. It's floor. Everywhere you go, everywhere you stand, unless you wildly coyotes off the edge of a cliff, you are on the floor. You can use that equipment at any time. So why is this important? If you are stuck on the idea that I have to go to the gym, that I have to spend this money, that I have to waste all this time doing all this extra stuff, hours just to get to a place and work out, then you're missing out on the fact that you should be working out constantly. When I say constantly, I mean, don't get to a point where, what happened to you, Vance? Why'd you miss the gym? Well, I guess things happen. Yeah, yeah, life happens. Yeah, life happens. Yeah. Life happens. Life happens. <laughs> and then you just miss the gym for a week, and it's like, well, I wasn't in the gym, so I lost muscle because I wasn't working out, and it was like, there was the floor. You got push-ups, you got sit-ups, you got planks, you know, you got the diamond push-ups, you got the wide push-ups, you got all type uh, squats. Just sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up. Even if you gotta grab some dumbbells, that's about it. But of course, the king of them all is the burpee, and the reason why it is so good for you when it comes to your sexual performance is because it does those three things. It increases your testosterone, it gives you flexibility, and it increases your stamina. And for a lot of guys, you keep doing it long enough, you wanna get a nice little cut, a nice little build out of it. And you don't have to wait, you don't have to go anywhere, you can just go and do your burpees and get it done. That is why we have the 30 day burpee challenge. I'm challenging you, I'm challenging you. You too, I'm challenging you. The thing I do not want guys to say is that this is too difficult. It's not too difficult. One, we're talking about the basic plank from Dr. Burpee who invented it. Basically, you wanna go down well, to your hands, you know, and, and just do a plank and stand back up. That's it. The whole thing of doing push-ups, doing a jump afterwards, spinning around in a circle, all types of extra things that people came, came up with, that's just extra stuff people came up with. You don't have to do all that. We're talking about no equipment, no excuses. It's the perfect exercise just to get it done quickly. And part of this challenge is really just very simple. You want to get a baseline. How many burpees can you do in a row? And then every day for 30 days, you're going to add one. We actually have some rest days in there too, because you need that. But still, at the end of 30 days, whatever you starting off with, we want to see you adding 30 to that. It's a challenge. It is not supposed to be easy. So yeah, let's go for it. What I want you to do is just go ahead and click the link below so you can get signed up. And we have a couple of things that you, I know you're gonna like. Uh, the first is we got some weekly prizes. We got some things that are gonna help you out even further with your journey. And we have a grand prize for the guys who really- Nice. You're just into it. We're seeing some participation from you and we have some ways to monitor what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And of course, the number one thing, shit talking rice. I'm gonna talk a whole, mm, I'm here with it. It's like a basketball court. How many burpees you do? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, we gonna get into that too. So what are you gonna get out of this challenge? Like I said, you're gonna get that increased testosterone, stamina, and flexibility. And the most important thing, you're gonna see the power of consistency. When you start exercising like this and you see that you can be consistent and you can get better, you fall in love with it, you wanna keep going, so yeah. Because that actually changes the way you think, and that's what we're really trying to get to. Change the way that you think, get consistent. Man, you gonna have fun in the bedroom, just saying, yeah, burpee boy. challenge. So this is all I gotta say about it. Go ahead down there, click that link. No equipments, just results. Lose fat, gain muscle from the convenience of your home. We got the prizes. And do me a favor right now, in the comment section, let me know how many burpees you can do right now. I'm letting you know, um, yeah, I can bang out a good 25 of them, just, yeah. Yes. The ish has started already. So let's get rolling. Hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.